We've heard you're producing a brand new series with the puppets. Uh, yes, that's true. I, I am. <laughs> well, there you go, straight from the horse's series. mouth. <laughs> completely separate to thatched clothes. Um, I won't be given any name or anything yet, I'll tell you exactly what it is, but it's um, but it's a comedy, uh, whereas thatched clothes, although co a comedy as well, um, it was a dark um, drama as well. Um, so that's very exciting. What other actors helped you through your journey with the show? Um, to begin with, there wasn't really much help um, from anyone else other than myself with regards to the filming, the producing. Again, the I use library music, um, royalty free music, um, which is quite easily obtainable on the internet. And um, and then of course the theme tune was my own song that I, I sung back in 1999. I, I actually performed as Shush, I was called Shush, as in shh, be quiet. <laughs> Um, which was a lot, I, I had an amazing time, but I got stage fright and then I never came. So the, uh, the voiceover characters, um, I, I, firstly, um, of course, Tanya Fisher, um, is my best friend Rob, um, from school, who I was brought up with from school, my school days, and um, we used to he used to uh, um, have a Hi8 camcorder, uh, which was his stepfather's. And um, if it wasn't for Rob and his stepfather having this camera, I would have never have tried out different little mini animations. We used Paula. to make Paula Woods. Um, she does the voice of Consuela. Um, she's been absolutely amazing, amazing, uh, and we really did. Uh, meet up out of just just by chance it really was it was at a funeral actually that I met her and uh, uh, after the loss of a friend of mine and um, I really truly believe that um, when someone goes you, it creates new life uh, or a new life takes place so f for me certainly at that funeral <laughs> um, it meant the world to me that I met someone that was so wanting to play these characters <laughs> and I said well I've got one for you if you really want to, to um, try try one out um, brilliant absolutely brilliant so Rob plays Tanya and and also a few other characters and then of course there's my friend Darren Cam um, yeah we're the two Darrens we do voiceovers for the Dynasty Daz stuff uh, mm -hmm. as well it doesn't need much direction. Uh, none of them do need much direction. They really do just get onto it, and they make the characters their own, which is the beauty of the whole thing, you know. Uh, what made you come up with the name Thatch Close, and what's the story behind Ooh, it? What made come me on, come up with know. the name Thatch Close? Um, um, I looked through the loft one day in, in my mum's. And my sister's um, sister, who was in a year above me in school, she had all of her exercise books, her like English exercise books and maths, and, and I was flicking through, being a nosy Parker as I usually am. That's how I do most of my writing um, to observe and see what's going on in the world. Um, and uh, and then I came across it like this two-page little sketch of this little village called Stapleton. And all it was was just a little pencil sketch, um, and it was so endearing because she had put so much imagination into it. it had a little um, shops area, it had a little graveyard, and it had all these different little um, cul-de-sacs. Uh, and then I just found this road called Fat Fatch Cottages, and I just thought, um, oh, that's got a certain ring to it. I like that. I like that sort of. That, the sound of that and I thought of well Tudor houses with the straw roofs thatch um, a little little cot old cottages but although thatch clothes is a bit more updated than that um, a bit more of the present day um, and that really was it that I, that I asked her permission if I could use that and very very many moons ago and she was very pleased that I, I'm sure she was very pleased that I 
um, took a liking to her lovely little picture. Bless her cotton socks. We love Tanya Fisher, she's great. Oh, you love Tanya. Ev everyone loves Tanya. Everyone loves Tanya. Because Tanya, Tanya is the nice, the nice part of Thatch Clothes. You know, you can't have all these evil characters, all these busy bodies, and it's a very nosy clothes, thatch clothes. Uh, very, they all know each other's business. It's in a cul-de-sac. It's in a dead, dead end. Are any of the um, characters based on you or anyone in particular? No character as such is based on me whatsoever. There's elements of uh, me in there, but there's elements of a lot of people that I'm close to, elements of people that I have known. Elements of people that I wouldn't want to know, obviously, as you can tell. Um, especially characters like Carmel, who you wouldn't give the day, the time of day. Um, I had some sketches that I did when I was about 14, 13 or 14. Um, and then me and Rob made the... Um, we made the what we call the mini series Thatch Clothes, which was all of forty eight minutes, you know. Um, but we thought we'd call it Thatch Clothes, the mini series, and um, those characters, yeah, there were there were little sketches made, um, and my sister again, she helped me design some of those characters, um, such as the early ones were like Bill Yates. Deirdre Fisher, of course, Tanya Fisher, of course, um, Janet Bennett, but I haven't got the sketches anymore, um, but they'd be funny to look at now because they really were just um, child's drawings again. So it's quite sweet, the fact that it did originate from a child's Did you get help with drawing. the character design um, or script writing? Not so much with script writing. The scripts are all down to me. Um, I always say to the voiceover artists, don't do something that you're not pleased with or you, or that you might not be pleased with at a later date. But we have such a ball. I mean, we watch it back on the screen, um, an edited version that I do, and then we voiced it over. But actually, my friend um, Paula, she sends me just little sound bites. Um, uh, they were all filmed in 2003, that series, and so we see Kathy Collins um, in a tiny little, the first part of episode one, the first scene, sorry, and she just says that she's being booted out of the service in her office and that her corrupt... Um, uh, manager wants to get rid of her and uh, and then we later see her in a dream in the dream sequence as a corpse and um, I was really killing off the character to make it a bit dramatic to, to to begin the series and so we then we have the whole history which really had a history of um, five hours worth of history of that character um, which has never been shown um, called Kathy Collins and she would have been the main character if th those 10 episodes had uh, been shown before um, whereas in the episodes we see now it's very much Cheryl and Carmel as the main characters oh and by the way Maria in the in the first 10 episodes that you don't see she was just a receptionist she was nev never um, a main character as such. So, um, it's funny how they, they kind of made it into the limelight. You have over 574,897 uh, yeah. views on YouTube. Um, I mean, how do you feel about that? It's a bit, it's it's a bit scary at times, because you know it's very much out there and people have, you know, um, and not all the comments um, are nice. You know, you get some... Um, <laughs> Really, just out of order. There's no reason to be so. Yeah, um, it's um, it all happened very quick with with regards to the viewings, the the fans, and and I think it's got a little bit of a cult niche now. Um, I'm really happy about that. Um, there there are certain type of fan, but um, 
I'm still trying to get to grips with who those people are who who really go for it who really love the show I'm not quite sure where they what types I mean it does it does differ but you do seem to get generally the same types of comment the same types of people commenting um, and it is just it, it, it's lovely because it, it puts belief back into myself as the artist to see it all um, actually come into life and that, that's really beautiful. What was your beautiful. first initial response to mm. all the comments from all the fans on YouTube? The day that I opened my inbox and it was flooded with messages. I couldn't even surf through them, there was that many. Um, I, I loved it, it was really, really a big moment for me. You started out as one of Oberon's <laughs> elves in a Midsummer Night's yeah, Dream. Yeah, I did. I perhaps. start. I always like to say I started out as a fairy in a Midsummer Night's yes. Dream and typecast. Um, but actually we were um, Oberon's elves. I wasn't Puck, by the way, because Puck's the main elf. Um, and that was at the Glyndebourne Opera House um, many moons ago. I was about 14, 13. And... Um, I, I just found it so magical there, it was just so beautiful as a kid, everything was so, it's such a grand place, it's really beautiful, um, beautiful lake with um, huge, um, you know, giant carp swimming through the lilies and um, it was just, the, the, the scenes there on the, of the landscape, that was absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, a part of my life that I'll always remember and always, um, I'll always look back on with fond memories. Did you meet any of the rich and famous at Glyndebourne? Well, I'll never forget the day when Diana Ross came down on a helicopter, totally diva style, and she was in a red dress, if I remember rightly, and she uh, came towards us in the building. Of course, we all had to pull ourselves together, be very smart for uh, for her to come into the building. But I thought that was so, such style. The helicopter landing in the fields and um, and her with her entourage just coming over to the building. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, and I, I was there. Um, and, and I wasn't a fairy then. <laughs> I was actually working again at the Glamour Opera House um, in catering, yeah, for the actors and actresses. Very good. What's memories. this we hear about a bed and breakfast called Thatch Close? That it's not exists. a rumor. It's it, it really is true, and it's hilarious. I'm not competitive. Um, I think I've become more competitive just because I've had to become with what I do but I never really was and yes there is a place called uh, Thatch Clothes and it's a and b and I take my hat off to these guys that run this B&B. I feel sorry for them because I'm always some days at the top of the ranking on Google and other days I'm knocked down a couple um, or, or you know or on the next page um, but um, yeah it's like um, it reminds me a little bit of bar walls, you know, um, or club walls. And, um, you know, and I want to go and stay there. I want to go and stay. It's, it looks really idyllic. It looks really, really lovely in the middle of, I think it's Devon. I, 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 th I think it might be Devon. I can't think now. Um, but it just looks beautiful. And um, I might go disguised one day as one of the characters and see what happens. Or I could go and stay and do a bit of writing there. Because I would feel at home, of course. Why did it take so long to get recognition for all your work with the show? Um, I think they always say with like a business. Um, I mean, I don't see it as a business as such. But um, it takes like two years before um, the, ball starts, um, get, the ball starts rolling. Um, especially with the regards to the fans on YouTube. Um, it was a snowball effect. It was a snowballing effect where um, the more um, people cottoned onto it, the more it got, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. 
You choose my rock, by the way, because I wouldn't, really wouldn't be here today with thatch clothes if it wasn't for the uh, network. So tell me, Darren, what are you looking there. forward to in the forthcoming year? Well, I'm looking forward to the new new uh, comedy series that I'm uh, filming at the moment. I want some more um, people involved. Um, I want some more puppeteers to help out. Don't forget. If there's anyone out there that, that does that, it, it will big up their own, um, you know, their own profile. Seeing as that Thatch Clothes is a, a success now, um, it will uh, be part of their show reel. So there's always, I mean, I can always do with the lens in hand, a helping hand, a stage hand, <laughs> should I say, a puppeteer. Um, hopefully a few more appearances, magazine articles again, as well, um, you know, this has been fantastic for me. Release um, has been brilliant, yeah, I'm really pleased, really delighted to be How here. How can the fans find out the latest news and gossip from their favourite right. characters well, in Thatch Clothes? There's the blog, there's the blog of Thatch Clothes, there's Thatch World um, on Twitter, um, and the main website at the moment is www.thatch-clothes.co.uk and you've got like merchandise because the DVDs are out now uh, well we've got DVD episode 1 and 2 with extras um, outtakes that's all, all uh, ready for the fans uh, there's prints you can buy of um, your favourite characters um, it goes into character profiles, um, it's constantly being updated, so Look thanks for having me, thank you, really appreciate it, thank you, and um, keep watching, should be out soon, the new fetch clothes, thank you, goodbye.